I came out to my mother twice. The first time, I told her I was bisexual. The second time, I told her I was pansexual. For those who might not necessarily know the difference, Bisexuality is an attraction to two genders, most often men and women. Well, pansexuality is kind of a disregard for gender completely. You may have heard the term hearts, not parts. That's what that is. My mom had never heard the term bisexual or pansexual okay, before, uh, so we discussed it. When she understood, she said, oh, well, I don't think it really matters. You just are who you are. You don't have to stick to a label. Now, it is incredibly important that you understand that I, at this point in time, I was deeply entrenched in the LGBT plus community. Using the internet and all of its abundant resources, I had been researching these labels and analyzing my own experiences with attraction. Finally, I had come to the conclusion, and I still stand by this, that I am pansexual. This label matters to me, and I never thought that I would have to justify it like this. Yet there was my mother, completely innocently misunderstanding why this label was so important to me. That was when the generational difference really hit me. Since then, and even before then, my mother and I have had countless conversations about sexuality, and she has even since come out as bisexual. In these countless conversations, I have learned so much about the culture that my mother grew up in. My mother is a member of Generation X, the generation before millennials and before the internet. Generation X grew up in a society that prioritized peace and quiet over seeking justice that might cause conflict. In terms of the LGBT plus community, tolerance was the key to this peaceful, quiet, sweet spot. Tolerance meant that gay people were acknowledged, but still not quite accepted. America took on a culture of, I can learn, to not, I can learn not to actively persecute you for your sexuality, but I still don't want it anywhere near me. A perfect example of this was Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which was legislation put in place in 1994 that protected closeted military service members from being outed and harassed, but still did not allow openly gay people to join the military. This was considered incredibly progressive and a big step towards okayness with the LGBT plus, L, yeah, LGBT plus community. But it st also still reflected the idea that gay people were simply not to be discussed. Time and again, uh, sorry. Tolerance was also a form of denial. It set the community aside as a group that, yes, inevitably exists, but it doesn't exist around us. This mindset didn't allow for the proper representation of LGBT plus identities because they largely weren't considered normal. Time and again, we've seen just how important representation is, particularly for kids. If a kid grows up never seeing themselves represented in their movies, in their TV, in their video games, then they never get to see how people like them fit into society. A culture that revolves around tolerance doesn't allow for the proper confrontation and representation of these labels uh, that our children really do need and deserve. This was the world my mother grew up in, a world where you weren't allowed to hate gay people, but you still didn't have to like them. Today, our world is largely very different. Instead of tolerance, the LGBT plus community now seeks nothing less than acceptance. We demand to be discussed, to be represented, to be normalized. Over the years, the community has built itself a platform, only improved by the internet, to grow and thrive. In my case, and many others like me, I was able to discover things about myself that I never would have been able to if the community weren't allowed to be as open as it is today. This kind of corresponds to my love of labels and my mother's skepticism about them. The culture my mother grew up in didn't allow for her or people like her to be open about themselves. For many youths of that time, it was easier to remain ambiguous by not choosing a label than it was to be out and find conflict at every turn. Coming out, even if you were coming out into a relatively accepting environment, would have made life incredibly different. Backlash from friends and close loved ones can be devastating, especially parents, can be devastating. Society as a whole would treat gay people differently, either not hiring them as much or seeing them as perverted or confused. Another reason for Generation X's general dislike of labels was because there were very few to safely choose from. The world was much more binary than it is today. You were either gay or straight. Terms like bisexual or asexual weren't widely used or accepted, nor did they have the publicity that would allow for people to identify with those labels. 
Today, it seems like this generation's LGBT plus community is pumping out a new label every week. Some people get overwhelmed, they call it alphabet soup. But I see this, uh, sorry, LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Okay, but then we had the Qs, queer and questioning, and then the As, asexual, agender, aromantic, and then we go into Ps and Ds and all other letters of the alphabet and it just never seems to end. Many people just can't handle it. But I see this as a representation of how incredibly far the community has come. I rejoice in the fact that my generation has a million labels to choose from, a million different ways to represent themselves. Every time a new label enters the mainstream, that means that another person or group of people has found the courage and the support to identify this important piece of themselves and allow other people to identify with it as well. 30 years ago, this alphabet soup didn't exist, and kids grew up being unsure and afraid about pieces of themselves because they did not have access to these labels. Even if they did, the culture shot their otherness down. I'm incredibly privileged and grateful to grow up in a society that tells me more and more every day that my otherness is beautiful, acceptable, normal. Representation for LGBT plus identities grows little by little every year, making it just a little bit easier for people in the community to be open about themselves in the world. My mother and many of the other adults that I've talked to about this is starting to understand more and more why these labels are so important to me and other young people in the community. She works as a nurse in the mental health field and has told me that this changed perspective on labels has changed the way that she navigates the world of the ununderstood teenagers that come into her hospital. It is incredibly important that we all make this transition from tolerance to acceptance, from peaceful ambiguity to proud openness. Today, uh, our world is changing. Our world is veering away from strict binaries like man and woman, gay and straight. We are understanding more and more that things like gender and sexuality have nuance, in-betweens and none of the aboves. Not only are we understanding that this nuance exists, but we are also beginning to accept this deviation from the norm and allow it the representation that it deserves. There is still so much work to do, but the world is not black and white and it should no longer even be represented as such. The world is rainbow, and we are infinitely better off when we are able to accept it completely, not just tolerate it. Thank you.